attending Novus Ordo for 20 years like I did, um, I was waiting for the priest to tell me where we're at or to, like, you know, introduce the next part of the Mass. But, you know, he was five pages ahead of me before I knew where he was at. <laughs> right, exactly. So that, that's one of the things I love so much, I've come to love so much, is that, and it's a paradox, and it, it's something that I never get tired of thinking about <laughs> and writing about, uh, is this this paradox that at the old Latin mass, you go there and it's almost as if you don't matter. Like the priest is ignoring you. Yes. Everybody's ignoring you. Oh, I love it. And, and it's like, you are nobody, right? Whether you're there or not, it makes no difference. Now, of course it makes a difference to you personally, but it's not like it makes a difference to anything that anyone's going to do. What they're doing is just this ancient ritual expression of faith and piety and, and worship. And it's happening whether you're there or not. And, and the paradox is that precisely because of that, it has more fascinating and attractive power. It's like something's going on here that's way bigger than I am. Yes. It's not about me. It's about him. And I, I just sort of get to come along for the ride. Like I'm, it's what a privilege that I get to be here. It's like Peter, James, and John on the Mount of Transfiguration, right? Oh Lord, it's good that we're here, right? <laughs> um, you know, it, it's. But, but notice on the Mount of Transfiguration, right? Who is our Lord talking to? He's not having this you know, rambling conversation with Peter, James, and John. He's talking with Moses and Elijah and his father, right? So it's, it's transcendent, it's theocentric. You know, it's, uh, our Lord is occupied with the eternal and with the past, I might add, Moses and Elijah, who were present in God's glory. And the apostles just get to be there and watch. And, and so, um, yeah, just tremendous. 